Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to episode 27 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Iroquois. I'd like to start off by saying a big thank you to my Patreon supporter William Luke for sponsoring this video with his generous donation. The fifth month in a row, which is absolutely fantastic. I appreciate that very much, as goes for all of my Patreon supporters. It helps me to keep the channel running. So, we managed in our last video to finish up a war with um, what was basically Brittany. And we took some land from Brittany and gave that away to um, the Creek, who are our march. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is actually trying to become friendly with uh, France and Spain. Because when they become one big superpower, we're not really going to be able to do much against them. And I think I'd be much better off trying to fight against the English uh, with the help of the um, big yellow blob. So I think what we're going to try and do is, is keep uh, Britain friendly for the time being, but we would really like to try and um, improve our relationship and maybe get an alliance uh, with Spain. So that's kind of what I'm going to be working on. Now, one thing that I am interested in is um, we actually have a few subject nations now, uh, technically. Um, because Brittany is our vassal. But at the same time, Brittany also has two colonies. They have um, California, and they also have La Planta. Now, what should happen is, if I annex them, then their colonies should become mine. But as I can't have colonial nations on the same continent that I'm on, they should just automatically become my cause, which would be very interesting. So I need to see how that's going to work out. At the moment, they have high liberty desire, but we're working on that. We do need to get our tech up. That's one of the main things we've got at the moment. Papal State has actually rivaled me. And my relations just dropped down uh, with Spain because this is basically reloading the game um, after uh, you know the last time I recorded. And whenever you reload, it does tend to recalculate a lot of things in sort of regards to alliances and coalitions and how much people like you. So you will very often find that when you reload a game after you have... Um, well, anytime you reload a game, for whatever reason, you reload a game, the AI goes and recalculates a load of things and decides that it doesn't like you. Uh, natives are rising up. Oh, no. Uh, for some reason, the game is running really um, jerky right now. Let's just go and pause that up a second. Slow that down. I don't normally have um, issues with uh, frame rate, even at speed 4. My machine's perfectly capable of handling this, although the problem with this game is that... Um, it just doesn't run very well. Uh, it doesn't play well with multi-cores. It basically just likes to run everything on a single core. Uh, but what we're basically trying to do at the moment is pay off some of our debt and get our tech up. That's the big issues that we have right now. Our current leader is a 122, which is not all that good. Uh, we do have a 215 to follow, which is slightly better. Uh, how much money are we making? 6.93 ducats. Almost 7 ducats a year. Are we colonizing? We are colonizing. We're colonizing down here. We also want to... Right, how far off is that? Quite far. Because we also want to get this before France jump in there. And in fact, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go and recall this colonist. And I think I'm going to go and move these guys over here. Now, this is a bit risky because what I'm essentially going to be doing is running two colonies, which does make things expensive. Um... Rival of our rival. Brabant's opinion, at least 100. Yearly prestige and manpower recovery. Pima. Where is Pima? Um, I could attack you, couldn't I? Do you have any friends? You're in an alliance with the Cheyenne, who I don't care about at all. Because you're over there. So we can go ahead and take that mission, actually. That'll be fine. And that gives us a free CB anyway. Um, where's my other army? I only need like a three stack. Let's just go ahead and split off um, three infantry. And we're going to move this infantry down to here. And we're actually going to... We can leave you in that province actually. That'll be fine. I just want to go and start um, colonizing this province before France try and jump in there and do it. 
So let's go ahead and send the colonist in there. That'll be okay. Still do really want to get these loans paid off. Uh, repay one loan. Might as well get one of them done. How many do we have? We only have one loan remaining. We're almost debt free. We are about to go and put our army maintenance back up again. But even with the army maintenance up, we're still making money. This is actually good for the first time ever. And uh, we'll drop down to speed three because we're about to go in and start a war. There seems to be improving relations anymore with France or Spain. I am going to leave my... I'm going to leave these diplomats just permanently improving relations because we do still have two free diplomats. So we don't need to worry about doing that just yet. I guess I'm not going to be able to integrate Brittany for a while. But I'd really like to see how that works out. Uh, what we might do here is... Um, we might just go ahead and... Uh, placate the local rulers. We'll lose a little bit of our um, prestige uh, just to stop them being um, possibly rebellious. Uh, let's go in here and declare our war. Um, they are going to bring in the Cheyenne. That is fine. We don't care. We're going to go and take our stack down here with our general. We're not going to turn our forts on or anything else like that. The Creek are going to come and get involved as well, of course, because they are our march. So they will help out with that. So we should be able to give these guys a good kick in. Lose some money or lose stability. I don't really want to do either. But we are making money. So we will go ahead and uh, take the hit on money. Now you're actually running off. Oddly enough, it does seem to be actually letting me chase you down. Now I thought you were going to go and actually run all the way to um, the Cheyenne's land. But you did not. Which I'm actually quite happy about. Now we're losing money now because we are reinforcing a little bit. And we're maintaining two colonies. Which is always going to be a problem. And of course now we're getting provincial unrest. Because we've not got anybody sitting here on Yazoo. Hopefully this will be a relatively quick war. We won't have to worry too much about it. Let's go ahead and just get you guys down. Uh, we lost an advisor. Uh, let's get you down onto Yazoo. Who have we lost? It is our Diplo guy. We'll leave him for the time being. We'll leave him off while we're at war. Because we can actually gain a bit of money back by doing that. Now, I don't really need this whole stack on here. In fact, let's not make sure we're not on attached to armies. Um, let's go and... The creek's getting quite small. Uh, not the creek, sorry. The Cheyenne. Let's go and make this province um, the focus of um, the creek. And we could even get... Um, Oh, the Creek are actually there sieging out uh, California. Interesting. Because Calif California don't actually have any... Um, another province there owned by Brittany. Brittany's still colonizing. Um, yeah, California don't have any units up there of their own, which is a little bit worrying. But I'm sure we can win these sieges quite quickly. Hopefully the Creek have got access through France. I think they should have. Well, they might just go all the way around, but hopefully they'll go and they'll go and deal with them. We should be able to get access through French Mexico if we need to. We're no longer reinforcing. Still making three ducats a month, even with two colonies on the go. So that is a good thing. But yeah, these colonies, we, I needed to get them both because I really didn't want France to sort of jump in and grab that one there. And we want to sort of fill in some of these gaps where we can. I know we've talked a little bit in the comments about Bordegore and stuff, but the problem is we can't afford to just take all of the worthless provinces first. Uh, we do need to concentrate on taking decent provinces. Uh, can we just get um, military access from you, please? There we go. Got military access now. Ah, there we go. Um, still says French Mexico, but Sp uh, Spain has now integrated France. France no longer exists. Uh, so what we uh, so if we go and have a look at Europe now, look at that. Spain is absolutely dominating in this game, especially when you consider how much of Spanish Italy uh, you know they control as well. And, um, you know, they've got all of this stuff down here. New Granada. Spain have done incredibly well in this game. Now you can see why I want to be friends with Spain. Why don't Spain want to be friends with me is the question. Um, heretic religion and they want my provinces. Which is unfortunate, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Could we possibly get a alliance or anything? 
Um, no, because we're at war. We're allied to Portugal, which we could get rid of. The neutral attitude is also a little bit of a problem as well. So we've definitely got some um, some issues going on, but I think we can go ahead and sort that out. So we have got this province. Let us go ahead and uh, march through here now and see if we can deal with this. It might take a little bit of time to um, get them on side. Now, I'm not really bothered about taking this stuff from the Cheyenne. I mean, we could always go ahead and try and take it for ourselves, but being right here in the middle of Spain is not going to end well for us in any way, shape or form. Uh, military tech we can take. We are very behind the time, so let's go and keep working on that. Um, we can upgrade some of our units. Is it our cannon? I think it's our cannons. So we'll upgrade our units. We'll, th that fight will be an in uh, automatic uh, win because it's an overrun. So we don't have to worry too much about that. In fact, if I can just get these guys to peace out, because all I want is their province. And they're willing to give it to me anyway, along with all of their money, which would pay off my loan. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take take that peace deal. So these guys get automatically black flagged. So let's go ahead and bring you home. Um, we don't need to have the castle there. Uh, we do need to go ahead and make you a core. Uh, now our advisors have um, all died. We need to replace them. Uh, missionary strength through that. National unrest reduction would be nice. Let's go ahead and get you. And then we'll go for diplomatic relations. Uh, we can get another mission. Rival of our rival, which is still Brabant. We'll go and see if we can work on that. And uh, I think we can go ahead and put our... Um, army maintenance down and we can go ahead and um, we can't repay that loan because obviously we can't afford to pay the interest on it a couple of months we'll be able to do that so we're almost out of debt which is great so let's go ahead and find uh, Brabant can never remember where they are they're somewhere in the middle of all of uh, this lot here I know they're one of the uh, HRE um, countries but I never remember which one I should just search for it, really. It'd be a lot quicker than doing what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and... Oh, they're here somewhere, aren't they? Yeah, there. There we go. Um, you already like me because we're enemy of enemy in the same religion. That's going to be a really easy mission. So let's go ahead and improve relations over there. Now, I'm guessing um, that Spain still do not want to be an ally, though they do not. If only we could get that a little bit higher. That heretic religion and things is not going to go away. Now, you're rival to the Ottomans, Russia, and Bermanis. We can't rival uh, the Ottomans and Russia, at least I don't think so. If we could... Yeah, we're a little bit stuck there. But I really would like Spain on side. I guess we'll just have to keep things as they are for the time being. It's a little bit risky. I also want to... Uh, yeah, we're not bothered about that. We'll be able to deal with that nice and easily. We'll keep um, England or Great Britain's colonies on side for now. Uh, we can still not afford to repay that loan. Apparently. How much do we need? 242. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, random countries wanting to hire condottieris. Now then, what we could do, what we probably should do, when can we start integrating Brittany? Don't quite have the... Um, need 190 opinion. Um, that forced vassalize. I think we're just going to have to wait a few years for that to go away. Uh, we could, of course, just try and... Um, why can't we royal marriage? Because of distance between borders. If their opinion improved by just like one, we could get a royal marriage. Their loyalty and their opinion. Yeah, if their opinion goes up, we'll wait till December. Their opinion should go up enough to allow us to get a royal marriage, which should then give us enough opinion to be able to... Um, start the annexation process. Because I'm interested to see how that's going to work. Why did that not go up any? Why did the forced vassalization not burn off any? Again, we're not bothered about those battles. We just need to wait for that to go away. 
And of course, we do have their cores, that's fine. Of course, if we actually do then control these provinces right next door to Spain, that might make relations worse. Right, they'll accept a royal marriage. So let's go ahead and do that. Fantastic. Now we just have to wait for our diplomat to... Well, we don't have to wait for the diplomat to get back. We just have to wait a month before we can send somebody else. So, 4th of February... So let's go ahead and two, three, four, annex vassal, and we'll start working on that. Fantastic. Now, at the same time, we can go ahead and repay all of our loans. We are now debt free. Fantastic. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, I have just managed to click off my recording software. So let's just bring that back into focus so I can see it. Okay. So yeah, we're still going to work on um, these provinces here. Let me make sure that I unpause. Rebel factions, where are you likely to pop in Nacha, 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 here? Which I think is fine. I don't think we have to worry too much about that. 20% chance that you're going to pop, but we are coring there. Uh, we don't need to be sucking up to Brittany anymore, so let's go ahead and bring you back. Uh, the Brabant mission should be nice and easy. Um, should we just suck up, suck directly up to French Mexico? We can actually royal marry French Mexico, which is not a bad idea. Could we not royal marry Spain? Spain is actually Catholic. Um, we can't royal marry Spain, but yeah, we could get French Mexico on side. Anything that makes it more difficult for um, Spain to declare war on us. Let's go ahead and we can't get an alliance with them. Actually, if we can't get an alliance, there's probably little point getting a royal marriage. We will try and improve relations, though. That's not a bad idea at all. So we've got the Navajo here. The Navajo are fighting the Cheyenne. It would be nice to take that land. It would be nice to try and block French Mexico off from um, growing any further north. Uh, there is a lot of wasteland up here, though. And in fact, this is wasteland here. So we've got no way of... Even if we took one of these provinces... We can't directly connect to this land unless we were to take uh, this province here, which we're not going to get that anytime soon. Uh, so that makes life a little bit difficult. Of course, if we do annex Brittany and California becomes ours, we could work our way around from that side of the map. Uh, that would certainly be an interesting thing, but we'll see how that goes because, like I said, I'm not too sure how it's going to work out. I, I know roughly how I I it should work out, but I'm not sure that it will. There's our mission done. Just wanted to have a quick look at our ships. Yeah, we can get five more ships. Uh, let's go ahead and um, get ourselves five more uh, lights. We can't really afford to get um, too many at once, so we'll just go ahead and get the two for now. Uh, we have a new mission, which is to colonize Nascapi. Uh, Nascapi is all the way up there. Well, we'll take it and cancel it, because I'm not going to colonize that far north. Um... I mean, it's a, it's you know, normal winter Arctic 3 development, and it's the other side of Newfoundland. It's completely no point in doing that. Um, extra diplomatic relations. So that means we can have an extra relation. It doesn't mean that it, it's not our diplomatic reputation. Not that useful in taking that straight away. So we'll hang on to that, especially as we are getting quite behind tech. As far as the institutions go, it had cost us... Um, uh, 1500 ducats to embrace the institution as it stands so we are going to have to wait a little bit now then let's have a look and see if we could actually make some states um that one would make us a little bit of money of course we are going to be burning through admin um, points again by doing this and somebody i can't remember who it was so apologies somebody did mention in the comments that sometimes even if a uh, even if converting a territory into a state doesn't give you much of a monetary increase, it still gives you more manpower and production and stuff like that, which is absolutely true. Uh, it also gives you higher force limit again, which is absolutely true. The problem is if you're already losing money, losing more money or not gaining any money to take a to make a territory into a state is not necessarily worth it because even though it might give you a higher force limit, you probably don't have enough money to make your army any bigger anyway. Uh, on top of that. Um, getting 100 population, fantastic. Uh, on top of that, there's a limit to the number of uh, states you can have, and although that does increase as you tech up, um, sometimes it's you, the last thing you want to do is use your last remaining state slot on a state that gives you like 0 0.01 uh, of a ducat, and then find you've got a really good state that you could make. Uh, 
uh, and you've got no slots left. So you do have to be fairly careful there. Um, estates demand control of provinces because, of course, they do. We don't even have the burgers estate anymore. The burgers have completely gone, which is weird. Um, the clergy, however... Um, yeah, the burgers control no land. The clergy want something. Um, let's go ahead and just give the clergy something random. Do we want to give anything to the burgers? Give this to, like, Patuatomi. Just so that they exist. Because you don't get the bonus, you don't get that trade efficiency bonus if they don't exist. So just giving them one province is enough to get that trade efficiency bonus. So, a lot of truce is ending, which is fine because we are in the process of integration. We are already 32% of the way through. We can probably even go up to speed four again now, as there's not an awful lot going on. Uh, we'll recall our diplomat from um, French, French, Spanish, Mexico. Uh, let's go to the Spanish West Indies and also go and improve relations there. Our relations still haven't improved any with Spain themselves, which is unfortunate. I'm not too sure we're ever really going to be able to do much to change that. Um, they still wouldn't be willing to accept an alliance. Um, if we weren't allied to Portugal, we'd be 50 closer. But our army strength and navy strength uh, is always going to be part of the problem there. Uh, speaking of our army size, we are 10 troops short. And um, we should probably go ahead and deal with that. So let's go ahead and move over here. Um, we've lost another general, which is also not good. Uh, Diplo power loss. We'll take the... Uh, we'll just take the Diplo here. It's unfortunate, but we've got to do it. Um, so let's go ahead and just get another 10 stack of infantry. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't afford any more. We'll have to wait, but we're trying to build our army up. Uh, at least if we can build the army up, then uh, they might like us a little bit more. Uh, modifiers ending. We'll recall that diplomat. We don't need you there anymore. Uh, which of our colonies is the biggest? It's actually uh, Arkansas. We could move the colonist over um, to speed things up again by sending him to the one that is the closest to being complete. But I don't think it will take too long. Uh, we've finished our coring. So let's go ahead now and um, send our missionary. Of course, that will cause the um, some unrest there, but we should be able to deal with that no problem. However, I'm going to end the video there because we've gone over the 20-minute mark. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Europa Universalis 4. Once again, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my Patreon supporter, William Luke, for sponsoring this video with his generous donation. It is always very much appreciated. I will see you guys on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.